We started our adventurous safari tour from Nairobi, Kenya. After five hours of drive, we reached the Sekinani Gate of Masai Mara National Reserve. As soon as we crossed the gates of the reserve, we were greeted with thousands and thousands of wildebeest. This was my day one of the safari and I was really excited and surprised to see the vibrant wildlife of Masai Mara. Wildebeest are classified under the larger antelope family. Their head and shoulders are angular and heavy set, whereas the hindquarter is thinned out and lanky. Masai Mara's open grassy plains and the Mara River provide a perfect habitat for large herds of wildebeest. Thompson's gazelle is one of the best-known gazelles. It is named after explorer Joseph Thompson and is sometimes referred to as a Tommy. It is often confused with the much larger Grant's gazelle, however it is more easily identified by its thicker black tail, shorter horns and more obvious black stripe on the flank. It is estimated that there are close to 850 to 900 lions in the Masai Mara National Reserve and surrounding conservancies. In the Masai Mara, females do most of the hunting, helped by males in taking down large animals. Because of their high metabolism they sleep about 20 hours a day, and kills are sometimes made at night. A wake of lappet-faced vultures, feeding on a caracas. Lappet-faced vulture, sometimes called Nubian vulture, is a huge species, ranking as the longest and largest winged vulture in its range. The battler is a medium-sized, short-tailed and colorful species of eagle. Its closest relatives are the snake eagles. Battlers are endemic to Africa. Out of all the big cats, cheetah is one of the world's most recognizable cats, known especially for its speed. They are able to accelerate from 0 to 64 km per hour in just three strides. They usually prey on small antelopes such as Thompson's gazelles and impalas. wildebeest and the zebra dependent on each other, for the food and water. The herd of zebra joins the wildebeest migration, as they are great in looking at any threat. The zebra is good at protecting and navigating, while the wildebeest have the ability to find the water. A good sense of hearing, with swarm intelligence of wildebeest, 
and better eyesight, with a better memory of zebra, helps them to stay out of any danger during the Great Migration. The Great Thunderous Migration through the Sand River had just begun. The river lies across the border between Kenya and Tanzania. The land on the other side of the river is Tanzania, as we witnessed the migration in Maasai Mara of Kenya. The entire migration took around 45 minutes and I would say that we were really lucky today, to witness this. Time is around 6.15 in the evening and our day one safari comes to an end. We are now at the Mara Triangle Gate, which closes by 6.30 pm. There is an entry fee of 200 US dollar per head, per day, to enter the Mara Triangle. Divided from the rest of the Maasai Mara National Reserve by the Mara River, the Mara Triangle is less visited and less crowded, with a fairly good concentration of wildlife all year round. Our stay was arranged at Mara Serena Safari Lodge, well inside the Mara Triangle and takes around 25 minutes of drive from the gate, to reach the Safari Lodge. The Egyptian goose is very common in Maasai Mara Game Reserve, Kenya. It eats grasses, seeds, and leaves. Occasionally, it will eat locusts, worms, or other small animals. Mara Serena Safari Lodge is a luxurious lodge, perched on a hill with views of the savannah and the Mara River. Our stay at Mara Serena was very comfortable and the room was very spacious and neat, with all necessary amenities. You can have a spectacular view of the Mara Triangle from the room. They provide breakfast, lunch and dinner, and the food was very tasty with varieties of dishes to choose from. If you wish to experience the balloon safari, which I fully recommend, you will have to book the ride much in advance, since there is a huge demand for the balloon safari. The balloon safari in Maasai Mara will cost you 500 US dollars per person and it's worth the money. We started our day 2 safari at around 6.30 am, with a sighting of spotted hyena. The spotted hyena is also known as laughing hyena. The female hyena are male-like in appearance, larger than males, and substantially more aggressive. In Maasai Mara, spotted hyena territories are stable, but not large, averaging 12 hyenas per 100 square kilometers. They are most active in the early hours of the morning, at the time of the migration. One of the wild animals that most people would always associate with East Africa, zebras are present in Maasai Mara and Kenya generally in large numbers. They are one of my favorite animals and I always love to watch them move around, in groups. The Rupel's vulture is a large vulture that can be found throughout the Sahel region of Central Africa. It holds the record as the highest flying bird in the world, with a wingspan of 8 feet. They can eat the hide and even bones of a carcass. Topi is a medium-sized antelope with a striking reddish-brown to purplish-red coat that is glossy, even iridescent in bright sunlight. Primarily lives in flood plains, but they are sometimes found in dry areas of open savanna. In Kenya, 
They are mainly found in Masai Mara, where they exist in large numbers. Their main predator is lion. The Koch's heart beast is a medium-sized, fawn-colored antelope. It is easy to recognize as it has long, narrow face and distinctively angular short horns which are heavily ridged. It is one of the fastest antelopes and most enduring runners. Southern ground hornbill is one of two species of ground hornbill, which are both found solely within Africa, and the largest species of hornbill worldwide. It lives in open habitats, travels in groups and feeds on insects, small reptiles, and mammals. African elephants are fascinatingly intelligent and socially complex animals, and one of Africa's most iconic species. African elephants are matriarchal, meaning they live in female-led groups. The matriarch is usually the biggest and oldest. She presides over a multi-generational herd that includes other females, called cows, and their young. Adult males, called bulls, usually live alone but sometimes form small groups with other males. The Maasai giraffes also known as the Kilimanjaro giraffes are the tallest living terrestrial animals and actually quite a sight, extremely picturesque and known for their graceful movements even when running at their fastest speed of 50 to 60 km per hour. Maasai giraffes can be distinguished from reticulated giraffes because they have jagged spots on their bodies instead of polygonal liver colored spots. Impala is a medium-sized antelope found in eastern and southern Africa. It is reddish-brown in color and are found at grassland and woodland edges, usually very close by water. The bat-eared fox is one of Maasai Mara's more elusive mammals, easily identifiable by their unusually large ears. Termites are the primary food source for the bat-eared fox, and one fox can easily consume up to 1.5 million termites annually. The black-backed jackal also called the silver-backed jackal, is a medium-sized canine native to eastern and southern Africa. It has a wide array of food sources, feeding on small to medium-sized animals, as well as plant matter.
We started our day 3 safari, at around 6 am. Today, we started early, so as to witness the morning activities of Maasai Mara lions. We were really lucky to see four lion couples, in the same area, romancing and having fun during the early hours of the day. It was indeed, a great sight for us and a great day. Every day, in Maasai Mara, is a different experience and you can really admire the creation of the Almighty, as you watch these creatures. During the mating period, Maasai Mara lions move in pairs of two males and females away from the pride. The females are always in their heat, for two to four days, and these few days, they over-enjoy mating, which is done after every 20 to 30 minutes. Also known as the Cape Buffalo, these large bovines are regarded as one of the more dangerous animals in East Africa, not least due to their volatile and unpredictable nature, which is one of the reasons the African buffalo has never been domesticated, as is the case in Asia. Olive baboon also known as the Anubis baboon, is one of the largest baboons, with an olive green slash gray coat that covers its bodies and a black face. Olive baboons have the largest range of all baboons. The Maasai giraffe is a species of giraffe native to eastern Africa. Maasai Mara houses approximately 30,000 of these majestic animals. Maasai giraffes spend between 16 and 20 hours a day feeding, and favor acacia tree leaves. Giraffes mostly travel in groups of between 10 and 20, and a group is called a tower. The hippopotamus, commonly referred to as hippo, are the third largest land mammal, with the average adult males weighing in at close to 1500 kilos. Hippos typically inhabit swamps, rivers, and areas close to the lake shore and are found in greatest numbers in Maasai Mara National Reserve. Today, was a great day for us, as we could spot a leopard feeding on a gazelle, inside the bush. Leopards almost always hunt on their own and are by nature shy, preferring to hunt at night. Due to their shy nature, it's very difficult to spot the leopard. 
We were tracking this leopard for some time and finally got an excellent sighting. During the afternoon game drive, we visited the famous Mara River, where most of the animal migration takes place. Mara River begins in Narek County, Kenya and ends in Mara Region, Tanzania. You can see a lot of hippos and the most ferocious crocodiles here. Hippos and crocs live in harmony here, as crocs are afraid of hippos due to their massive structure. As we were waiting, we saw a herd of zebra attempting to cross the Mara River. But, due to the presence of the crocs in their path, the zebras finally decided to retreat. We were really unlucky this time, as we couldn't witness the Great Migration event. Day 4, was our last day in Masai Mara. We are now exiting the gates of Mara Triangle. We had 3 days of amazing and adventurous game drive and must thank our guide and a good Masai friend, Mr. Layan for all his efforts, to make our safari, the most memorable. Please check on my other videos, on our adventurous Kenya safari tour, which was organized by Jastro Safaris, Nairobi during the month of August 2024. Hope you enjoyed this safari tour and thanks for watching the video.